Aberdeen, many commiserations. Uh, can you sum up your emotions after quite an incredible final 10, 15 minutes there? Yeah, I think it's hard to say, uh, just to sum it up. It, it was not good enough, uh, especially we got, we're on top in the second, I think the second, the second goal's coming a little bit against one of the um, They were by far the better team in the first half, we were looking for them, why not though? Um, the reaction second half, uh, a lot better, we got, got ourselves right back into the game. Good goal, Scott, he's deserved that over the last few weeks. Um, I think we kind of got a little bit carried away with the atmosphere, I think you could uh, centre in the place, obviously we nearly had as many fans as them here. Uh, kind of lost our discipline a little bit, we kind of went for it straight away and went really away from home, we should have stayed in the game. And that's not like your side, you, you, you kind of capitulated a little bit at the end, you haven't done that this season. No, no, as you said, we just spoke about it in there and uh, that's what I mean, we, we, that was naive, the last 15, 20 minutes was naive, it was, it was a lot of naivety, uh, a lot to learn from it, but you know what, it's happened, so we can, we can learn from it. The most frustrating thing I guess for you, as you mentioned in the first answer, you get the equaliser. Most people would have predicted that if anyone was going to go and win the game, it would have been you. Yeah, definitely. But, you know, give Maric Maxwell the credit. They kept going uh, at the stage, didn't they? And, uh, obviously, uh, they got the goal and said a little bit run against, run, uh, run against one of play, but um, obviously that was not going to last 15 minutes. And uh, you said, uh, we fell apart. A harsh lesson then for you today, do you feel? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And uh, it's a lesson that we need to learn from. We'll learn a lot. We learn, we learn every day and, uh, and every, every week. And uh, obviously, we need, there's a lot to be learned from that. Was the biggest difference, do you think, between the two sides, the finishing, because they were clinical, particularly in the, the dying stages then? Yeah, definitely, definitely, as you said, uh, obviously we've created good opportunities, and uh, I think even before we scored, we, uh, we had to start more penalty, and it's right from the line, when the referee's that side, how it's not been given, I have no idea. Have you seen it back? I didn't see it back. It looked a penalty from up in the stand, you clearly share that view? Yeah, 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 I did. don't need to see back. Um, the ball's nowhere near, the kid just com completely come across the back of Ursi, took his legs out. So, can't just point at that, but yeah, I said we got after that we got back into it one all. But um, I've said we uh, after that we kind of got a little bit carried away with everything. Do you think they played the occasion and not the game then in those dying stages? Yeah, possibly to an extent. To an extent, possibly. Um, obviously, our fans were outstanding, came in great numbers, stood the day in atrocious weather, and uh, got right behind the lads. And obviously, I think uh, you, it was an home game. For them five ten minutes, it was an home game. The atmosphere, it was, it was all us and. Uh, as I said, uh, we kind of lost our discipline a little bit. How difficult were the conditions for your team? Not just for my team, for both teams. Um, so I can't, can't hide behind that. As I uh, said, we, uh, that last 10 15 minutes was rough. But there was a time in the final 10 minutes you couldn't even see the line, did you? No, you, you know why? It was a bit farcical with what happened, and, uh, but you know why? You, you give credit to their ground staff and the volunteers who come got the game on this morning. And uh, obviously, the what needed to try to do up for them eight to ten minutes that they had it done. But you know what I mean, it's uh, got to a point I think uh, you want to make sure the game is on. Yeah, was there ever a point do you think in that game where it shouldn't have continued, it wasn't playable? I don't know, there's this point that you gotta look at it, I mean there was a, even a referee at one point he was trying to uh, loosen the snow off the bottom of his boots. We've got through, there's no injuries to both teams, that's that's what you can look at but I mean if uh, you know why it's that one if the if the studs are cl uh, clogging up with the snow and someone slips and End up, end up another player, then end up on the off side of the, um, the players. Because it did seem at one point that the players were making that point to the official. It, yeah, you're gonna, because I mean, you know, I mean, you, you can honestly see it. As you said at one point, you couldn't see any lines at all on the pitch. He had a decision to make, I think, with the cameras being here, that's probably um, definitely uh, made his decision swing towards the way and make, make sure the game finished. Tough for you to take, but you've got to learn from this and move on. Yeah, yeah, as you said, it's uh, disappointing, did not see it coming, uh, as I said. Glad Scotty Barnes got his first goal. Um, we got, got back into it, but uh, obviously, it's when we got back into it, it's how we, it's how we dealt with the situation and that we disappointed with him. That's what we look at. And you're still in the race, it's still tight as ever. Look, it was, no one's ever going to run away with it. Not now, not this game, or next week's game. It's going it's to go right to the wire, everybody's going to be with it, and uh, there'll, be, there'll be ups and downs. And uh, this week's had a. Uh, I'll look at it. Cheers.